Well, hello there, my fellow miners and crafters. Good times. So, Scott here, bringing you another Hexit episode, part of our awesome playthrough of the world of Hexit. And there's a skeleton, and he's over there shooting arrows at me. And hold off there because we're doing a little intro skeleton. And so, what we're going to do in today's episode and the next few episodes is build an amazing Hexit house. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave and say goodbye to our starter house right here and head up into the uh, snow mountain up there and build kind of a Skyrim themed house. I thought it fit the kind of a theme of Hexit and I think it'll be pretty darn awesome. So let's start on our way. I've created this nice little bridge up here that gets us there. So just a temporary bridge that we can easily access our starter house to our new house. Nice little bridge across here. And as you can see, I've done a little bit of preparation work over here. And it looks like a giant mess, but eventually there'll be a quite a spectacular little house up here. So let's head over here now. And this is kind of our starting point. So right here is going to be our entrance to our house. So I laid out these little markers along here to keep us uh, on track. And then these all, I'll show you how far these are all spaced out and everything like that. And yeah, I think this will be a pretty good little project. So based on uh, kind of a few different little Skyrim buildings I've seen, and I think it'll look uh, pretty good in the end. Okay, so first things first, we are going to, let's see, I always get, let's get this kind of confused, but I think we'll do it this way. So what we're going to first do is do our, um, just a basic, uh, what am I trying to think? I am completely blank in the head right now. <laughs> Foundation, Scar, foundation. So first things first, we're just gonna lay down a foundation. And then this will be on the outside of the house. So these are our blocks that we're, we're gonna do some uh, pillars and things like that. We'll shoot up there. This will be just kind of a foundation that will give our house an extra step up. Can make it look a little bit bigger and have just a little bit more detail around the edges of the house. I always like to, oh my gosh, no, no, no more Chocopedia books, no. I haven't got rid of my magnetization armor yet. I, no, oh God, it gave it to me. I hate Joker books. You know, I, I hate those books. That's all I gotta say. I hate those books. <laughs> you get them so often. I have like stacks and stacks of them. Just absolutely frustrating. Uh, well, what can you do? And this is starting to really bump up against this side. So this was a little bit bad planned on my spot but i've been slowly chopping this out and trying to get rid of some of these uh ice blocks for the water situation it's not the easiest place to build definitely not but i think it'll be unique and kind of cool in the end once we do start to get a nice house built here in the snow in the mountains i think it's pretty cool all right so I'll just finish this side here and you might be wondering there scar i see that your draw distance is a little low a render distance there and yes, it is. I don't know what happened, but all of a sudden my performance in this game just went down the toilet. And I don't know why. I had it on far for all of our other previous episodes. Had decent performance. You know, at first it was a little stuttery, but um, once I kind of got into it and there had been a couple updates, yeah, e easy peasy. Fine, perfect. But then, but then I get back on after I was sick and it was a disaster. I, I don't know. So I've got the... Render distance on, I don't even know. I think it might even be small or tiny. I don't know, but it's not good. I'm not sure what's going on, but by next week's episode, I'll hopefully have resolved this issue. Okay, so we got a basic foundation now. And what we're going to do now is we're going to take our logs and we're going to start to place them up here like so. And it is very easy to get uh, logs in this game mode because of you know, the tree caterpillar. I got a little tree farm going over by the starter house. So... This block is going to be, we're not going to pay attention to this block. We're going to count from this block here and we're going to go up five blocks. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Perfect. All right. And then what was this block again? All right. So let me just knock that top off there. Let's see. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. So that's two. I was kind of confused there for a second. Okay. So this one is two, three, four, five. No, I, I'm really off. I am feeling really bad today, so please excuse Uncle Scar with his bad counting. I, I will warn you right now. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, perfect. Ah, you know, it's one of those days, one of those days. All right, so one, two, three, four, five. Perfect. Okay, there we go. 
And first things first, I'm going to turn this foundation right here into steps. And I'll make that a little nicer for the entrance. There we go. And I'll replace that like so. Okay, there we go. First thing's got that done. Now we're going to start our walls. All right, so walls are going to get built like so. And I'm just going to fill that in like there and start to build up the wall along here. There we go. So what I always like to do for video wise, this isn't something I always do when I'm actually building, uh, just, you know, on my own or something along those lines. But I like to do the front. And some people don't like that, but I like to build the front, completely build it out. And then you can kind of get a feel for the whole project from that. And I did that with the modern house and I think you guys liked it. And I think it just adds a lot by doing the whole front and you can kind of say, oh, okay. So that's kind of the design he's going to go with. Those are the colors and materials he's going to use. So that's kind of my philosophy of why I always do the front like this. I think I also did my hardcore house the same way. I like doing it. it just kind of gives you guys a good idea of seeing it, how it's going to be built instead of, you know, we build a foundation, we build a floor and a few walls and you're like, I still don't get it. I don't have an idea of how it's going to look and we're three episodes in. So that's just kind of the way I like to do it. And I like to cut my windows out here, kind of carve them out. So might be redundant, but I like to carve it. It gives me ideas as I go like, oh, well, this might look good if I go like that. And maybe I'll cut this guy out like so. And I'll, you know, maybe make like a nice little kind of windowsill like that. And maybe I'll just run this along there, maybe like that. We'll see. It kind of covers up our windowsill. So then what we could do is knock that back off and replace it like that. So just little ideas like that I like to do. That's why I fill it in and then I carve out the window. So just little tips that I like to do, you know, do your way. If, that, if that's annoying or you don't want to do it that way, don't do it that way. But that's just the way I like to do it. All right. And we'll just run this along there like so. Just adds the more, the more extra layers you can add to your house, the better definitely the better the more you can you know do upside down staircases like this add different layers of foundation the more that house is going to definitely look awesome all right yep, perfect oh i like that and then we got our glass cooking over there so we can put some windows in these eventually okay so now that we got that done we are going to get some scaffolding out and we are going to go up here here we go and we're going to get started here. So we're gonna build the first facade. So we're just gonna build a facade here. And you guys can get a, a basic Z of the count here. So this is uh, the pillar, and then we went one, two, three, four, another pillar, one, two, three, pillar, and then same going down that way. Okay, all right, so we got that done now. And I'm trying to decide on how I wanna do this roof line. Hmm. Thinking, thinking, thinking. All right, the, the most I planned this house out was the, the layout of it. So I'm just kind of guessing how I want to do it. I kind of want to do the tip of the roof line, maybe with some of the logs, and then maybe go with a cobble as the main design. Ha, huh. not 100% sure yet how I want to do that. But it's always kind of fun to play with it. So let's see what we got here. Let's see. So let's get out our logs like so. And then I'm going to place a dirt block like there. I'm going to place you right there. Okay. All right. I think this is good. I think this is good like this. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's going to be good. So then we'll just work our way up like so. Try to find somewhere where the middle point is. And then we'll do the other side. So we'll just bring that up one more. And I think we do this. What do you think? What do you think? One more block? I think, yeah, yeah, one more block. And then we'll do the other side, we'll meet them together. So let's jump on back down here. And come on over here, come on down. It's like Bob Barker. Remember those good old days when Bob Barker was on Prices Right? Ah, just not the same, Not nothing, nothing against their Drew Carey, but you know, he's just not Bob Barker, not Bob Barker. I used to watch that show all the time. One crazy thing is I was at my grandma's house one time and she got everything right. I was like, you know, I, I prided myself on getting maybe, you know, 60, 70% of the things right. 100% with her. It was just ridiculous. She was like naming off. I'm like thinking, can we get her down there and get some, get some cash, get some free cars, trip to, uh, sometimes their trips are really corny. They're like, like two days in Jamaica or something. I was like, that's not a very good vacation. Two days. <laughs> 
it's always like these really short trips or whatever and you're like man you need more time in jamaica than that you need more time Sometimes they even have a trip to Disneyland and they used to show really, really old archive footage of Disneyland from like the early 80s. And you're like, that ride's not there anymore. <laughs> oh, I love The Price is Right. Anybody watch The Price is Right back in the day with good old Bob Barker? I bet some of you out there have. Oh, look at that. I like it. I like it a lot. So give me a few seconds here. I'm going to kind of catch my breath and I'll be right back. All right. Welcome back. And I was just kind of playing around at it. had a little creeper explosion over there, but fixed it up. So we're starting to kind of uh, add a little bit of detail, trying to figure out what we're going to do. So once we kind of get this dirt down and uh, we'll get a little better idea of what's going on up there. So let's get back our dirt and make another uh, pole to the top. So we'll just head on up here. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to top these off with a little bit of stairs of cobble. There we go. So I think that we're starting to kind of get a good little view and kind of an idea of what this whole house is gonna look like. There we go. So over here, I extended this side out just a little bit more to add a little bit more interest, a little more design to it. So let's just see if we can get a hold of that. There we go. And do I have some more? Oh, I do, oh, I do, I love it. There we go. And let's just back down just one and place another block, there we go. Perfect, there, I like that, I like that, I think that looks nice. Okay, I like it, I like it a lot. Let's see, put, whip, 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 there we go. And we'll just finish that off. Okay, good, well, now we're at this point, I wonder if I should run something kind of like that out. Something like that might be nice. So we'll just remove our placeholder there, and I really should make a diamond one of those guys. There we go, all right, so let's head back down and let's get a good look at how we're doing. Oh, please don't hit me. Please don't hit me. Oh, oh, I was worried there for a second that that was gonna be a disaster. That was gonna be another disaster. Oh, I hope that didn't hit our house. Hmm, I'm very, I am a little bit worried for a second there. Uh, we need to make one of those uh, shields, those meteor shields. I keep forgetting to do such that, but we will get to it. We'll get to it, I hope. All right, so let's get down some of the scaffolding. There we go. Perfect, perfect. All right, I like it. I like it. It's starting to look pretty good. So let's just finish this side over here. There we go. Put that down like so. And we'll just cap that off like there. And I wanted to wish you guys a happy Thanksgiving. Completely forgot to being in the video. And um, yeah, so I wanted to wish you guys that and hope you guys are going to have a good time, you know, and join your, uh, your eating and visiting with your family and all. For myself, pretty low-key uh, Thanksgiving like usual. Nothing too, nothing too much. We're just going to... Uh, head off and look go into the woods and look for a christmas tree we don't really do too much for thanksgiving um or we'll see our family for christmas but uh for thanksgiving pretty low-key we we uh usually just like to uh, kind of stay at home and all usually at this time of year for the last couple of years it's always been some health care related thing that's gone going bad so we like to just kind of stay home this year things are okay so we'll just have kind of a quiet trip up into the woods look for a tree cut it out of the forest drag it out Hopefully bring some woodland creatures with us. <laughs> I always picture when we go up to the into the forest, up into like you know, up into the mountains and bring back a tree, we bring back some crazy animal inside the uh, inside the tree. Alright, so we need to get um, here we go. Is this our what we want? That's just plain wool. We need some gray wool. We need some gray wool. Where's our gray wool? There it is. And I will replace you. Right there, and I'm gonna take the rest of my gray wool. There we go. All right. So let's make our trip back up here. There we go. Heading on up, heading on up. Um, heading back down one block. There we go. <laughs> okay. So is that enough? I don't know. I really don't think that's enough, but we'll do what we can. We'll do what we can. Hmm. So should we go from this block here? I'm going to jump back down. I'm trying to decide if I should go off of that, you know, this row of cobble, where I was going to run this an extra row of stairs, or shall I go one behind it? Hmm, questions, questions. 
I will bring an additional stack because we were already down here. All right, well, you know, we're just trying to figure out things as we go along here. I'm doing the, trying to do the best I can by just kind of improving this house. Let's see here. I'm trying to go off memory of houses in White Room. That's what I'm trying, that's what I'm trying to think of from Skyrim. Um, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go actually like this. I want it the other way. No, 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 Mr. Stair. That is not what I want. I want you to go upside down. Oh boy, you're a tricky little guy right now. Yeah, do do what your brother just did next to you. Do that. Do that. Be a good stare and cooperate with Uncle Scar because Uncle Scar loves you and he wants you to succeed in life. And by succeeding, going upside down. Okay, there we go. And let's head on. Ooh, a pink tree. You see that down there? I didn't even notice that pink tree down there this entire time. We will have to investigate that soon. And I can't wait to, uh, oh man, I cannot see that. I'm going to have to knock this guy out. Um, I can't wait to get into Biblicraft or whatever that's called with the uh, weapon holders and stuff. Oh, that's going to be, that's going to be really fun getting into that soon. So we're going to definitely fill that, our house full of that stuff. And it is going to be epic. Okay, all right, so let's get out our gray wool, and this will be kind of our upper story here, so we'll just fill that in like so, perfect, and let's head on to this side over here, and fill this in over here. So definitely let me know, guys, where you're off to for Thanksgiving, if you're going to stay at home, or you're going to take a, take an aeroplane somewhere, so definitely let me know where you guys are going to uh, celebrate your Thanksgiving. There we go, and there's international viewers, you know that don't celebrate Thanksgiving, so. What are you guys gonna do? Go to school, I guess, go to work? Um, let's see, there we go. Um, yeah, I like it. What do you guys think? How are we doing? How are we doing? Let me know. I wanna hear those clipboard, or those uh, keyboards clicking. I wanna know how we're doing here and how we can improve our building. And let's just knock this guy off right here. And where is our switches? You know, people always complain that I don't use the keyboard shortcuts to get stuff out. I've been playing Minecraft since 2010, like August or something, and we didn't have those fancy things back then when I learned, and it's hard to break a habit. It is very hard to break a habit of, you know, using those same, like, keyboard uh, shortcuts or getting used to those things, and it has been a long time, and I'm still not used to them. I have a really hard time adjusting to things. Um, I'm going to place one right there. And I'm gonna play some. And some of those keyboard shortcuts weren't in this version of Hexit. Okay, there we go. Let's head on down here and let's knock out our scaffolding. There we go. We can get out our glass out of the furnace because I believe that should be, yep, yeah, it's done. So we'll just go over here, finish that off. And we can finally get kind of a look at how our house is looking. And then this will be the design that we will continue to carry on for the rest of the design. There we go. That should be enough glass for the project, especially if we do the panes. There we go. And oh, I hate the standard Minecraft glass. Oh, it's gonna hurt me to put that on there and there's no stained glass to kind of go around it in this version. Oh, oh, it looks horrible. Oh, oh, it's just terrible, it's terrible. Okay, so let's get a look at this place. Without falling, the lag is killing me. The lag is killing me. Oh, I like it. What do you guys think? I think that's, you know, we could do a little bit more work up here, kind of adjust some of the stairs a little bit. So we're not 100% done with that, but I like that. I think that's gonna be a great start for our house. And well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this first episode of getting the feel for the house, designing the front and laying it out. So until next time, this has been Good Times with Scar, and we'll... See you later. And don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Going down here and do the subway tunnel. It looks like a subway tunnel. It looks like we're already starting off with a mob spawner. I'll get out my trusty mob spawner destroyer tool. <laughs> All right. Oh, okay. Nothing in there. Who are you? Mimic. Look at you. You got some nice little legs. Aren't you fancy? What shall I name you? Are you a good? Oh no, he's not good. He's mean. 